Hi guys, I'm going to teach you two different ways to put your belt on. The first way is a very basic way, easy way to do it. The second way is what we call the black belt way. It stays on for longer, it's tighter, it's a lot neater. So the first way, the easy way, is you're going to find the middle of the belt. The easiest way to find the middle of the belt is put the two ends together. Then get the other end, the middle. Put the middle around your middle. Go around the back, wrap around the back, but keep it tight on the body. When you get to the back, change your hands over and then pull it again. Make sure it stays tight on your body. From here, I'm going to keep it tight on the body and pull it to the front, keeping it nice and tight. I'm going to make an X. When I've done the X, the top one is going to go underneath, not just the first section, but this section. Very difficult to see because it's black belt and the black clothes, but you can see that two sections. If you don't go under both, it'll be really messy. So I'm going to make an X, I go underneath, right underneath both. So from there, when I pull it tight now, it should pretty much stay on. Now I'm going to go from there, I want to make sure it stays on for a training session, not just for standing still. So I'm going to make another X, and this time I'm just going to go underneath one. So it just goes underneath the hole and pull tight. Now a little tip, when you get to there, you want to get it so the belt goes down either side. If you've got your belt like this, it's going to wriggle around and it's going to come off. So I want to get it so the knot pulls over the centre this way. I pull it tight, I pull it down, and there's an even belt. Okay, so the second way, the more professional way, the black belt way, we're going to wrap it round. And the reason why you'll see here, the, if I do the basic way, I get a crossover at the back which is going to keep moving, it's going to bother me, it doesn't look very neat, and it ends up moving the belt more, which means the belt's more likely to fall off. So I'm going to take it off, but you wait, you've done way number one, you'll realise how long the end needs to be. So you need to know how long the end's going to be on your body first. So after you've done the basic way, and you've got your measurements, you're going to get that end, so I know it's always that long, and I'm going to put that, and just stick it right in the middle. I'm going to wrap it round, use this hand to hold on to that, bring it back, wrap around again, and then get it so this way. Now you'll notice as it wraps around, it's completely even all the way around because the only cross is at the front. The top one I've got here that's been wrapping around goes underneath. I pull it through, it's tight again, it stays on, but it won't do if I start training. So to lock it in place, I make another X just like the first way, ends exactly the same. Pull tight, pull the ends are even and down. And there you go. So for parents, putting belts on kids, because I know obviously putting on yourself is different than putting on someone else. Start off with the basic way. Get the ends even. So I've got the middle. Bob, not my child, but we just pretend he's today. Okay, we're going to put the round his middle. Keep it nice and tight. Wrap it round. Not so tight they can't breathe, obviously. Come to the middle. Top one. Goes underneath. Pull tight. Stays on. Make another X. Top one just goes underneath one. So it's exactly the same, but just see it from a different angle. And there you go. Even on the side, pull it down. That'll do. Is that dude? You over that? Peace. No, he gets it.